Hello and welcome back to my Vintage Baseball channel. Today's vintage player is Hall of Famer Reggie Jackson. My favorite memory of Reggie remains his Game 6 heroics from the 1977 World Series against the Los Angeles Dodgers. Hitting three consecutive homers on three pitches from three different pitchers. It was an amazing spectacle that night in the Bronx. Reggie played for four different teams during his 21-year career. He was drafted by the Kansas City Athletics in 1966 and played with them there and in Oakland. He was also a member of the Orioles, Yankees, and Angels. He was a 14-time All-Star and a 5-time World Series champion. Jackson was nicknamed Mr. October because of his postseason feats. He was most valuable player of the American League in 1973 and of the 1973 and 1977 World Series. His number 9 has been retired by the A's and number 44 was retired by the Yankees. Reggie was inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame in 1993 on his first ballot. He hit 563 career home runs. He was born just north of Philadelphia. He debuted with the A's in 1967 and got his first hit in the nightcap of a doubleheader against Cleveland. It was a triple. He hit 47 home runs in 1969. His monster home run in the 1971 All-Star Game off a Doc Ellis pitch is still a classic. When he showed up to spring training in 1972, Reggie had a mustache. A's owner Charlie O. Finley liked it so much that he offered $300 to any player who would grow one. He was traded to the Orioles on April 2, 1976. He became a free agent at the end of that season. He signed a five-year contract with the Yankees and helped them win the World Series in 77 and 78. His relationship with manager Billy Martin is part of baseball lore. Owner George Steinbrenner gave Martin a choice. Bat Reggie clean up or lose your job. Making the change helped the Yankees win the division, American League pennant, and World Series. He hit 10 home runs in 27 career World Series games. 1978 saw the arrival of the Reggie Bar. He hit his 500th home run off Bud Black of the Royals while he was a member of the California Angels. He reached the postseason in 11 of his 21 seasons. He was the first major leaguer to hit 100 home runs for three different teams. He is the only player in the 500 home run club that never had consecutive 30 home run seasons during his entire career. After his career, he spent many years with the Yankees as a special advisor, a job he now occupies with the Houston Astros. Please subscribe and come again to my channel for more vintage baseball players.